Shalom. I want to first begin by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashom, Yahweh Shai Bahashom, Racha Gwadash. Yahweh is the true holy name of the Heavenly Father, who this world ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh Shai is the true name of our Lord and Savior, who this world ignorantly called Jesus. The Rechak Wadash is the Holy Spirit. I also want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who are the true leaders of the nation of Israel, that Yahweh, Ahasham, Yahweh Shai, has set up through the Holy Spirit to lead and to guide and also to be great examples for the nation of Israel. I also want to say Shalom to the 144,000 men who are laboring and also toiling in this work for the sake of Yahweh Bashim al I also want to say Shalom to the innumerable multitude which consists of the men, women, and children that Yahweh Bashim al Shai will show mercy upon. And I'm the brother Gabar from the GMS West Palm Beach Camp. I'm coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim al Shai and Lord Woodland, the elect of the nation of Israel, is edified. And this lesson is going to be entitled Hold On, Be Here for the Long Haul. And the inspiration for this lesson. Uh, you know, a little a little while ago, I was listening to Elder Apostle Tahar's lesson that he made. And, you know, the apostle, you know, he says something along the lines of uh, that he doesn't, that he has, uh, expect to be here another two to two and a half years. All right. And of course, you know, Elder Apostle Tahara speaking through the spirit, all right, speaking as a man, you know, but when he said that it was kind of saddening for a moment, you know, but as I, as I was talking, all right, to the head of our camp, uh, the elder brother Yeshaya, you know, he was, uh, you know, he was texting back and forth, you know, and, and we got to, you know, be in this thing for the long, for the long haul. Okay. You know, cause the scripture says, you know, uh, we got to wait patiently upon the Lord. Okay. And this is a part of our, uh, suffering. All right. The scripture says in Acts uh, 14 to 22, and I'm gonna open up with that, you know, cause as we was texting back and forth, you know, this is one of the scriptures uh, that was on my spirit. So this is Acts 14, verse 22, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith. You know, and that's what we do uh, by way of making these lessons. All right. When we go out to the highways and byways. Also, when we call one another and we uh, communicate one one with another, that's also a, a form of exhorting all right because a hey, brothers are uh, catching hell you know we're we uh go through a lot of things you know and that's why the scripture says uh two is better than one all right because when another when another man is down you a brother can lift you up okay and then continue to read it says and that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of you how about shemal shai all right, man. And this is a part of uh, that straight gate. You know, this is a part of that tribulation. Hey, man, because we down here uh, catching hell, man. This is our this is hell. You know, a lot of people think that hell is a place under the earth where you burn it forever. No, nah, but this is that uh, place of hell right now. OK, we, we, we under the curses. All right, we got to work for this for this devil. 
or subject unto payments. You know, brothers uh, catch hell at their job with a woman, with their children. Okay, and this is a part of that tribulation. You know, and uh, I want to go into this word uh, patience, and I'm gonna go to uh, James one, and I'm gonna just read. Uh, starting at two, my brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations, knowing this that the trying of your faith worketh patience. Okay, so we're we're being tried. All right, we're being proven. All right, you know, cause hey, man, as you know, as we all came into the truth. All right, when we first woke up to the truth, we thought. We thought Yahweh yeah, Bashim al Shah was returning, you know, that year. Okay, but as we age in this truth, okay, we we, we start to uh realize that certain prophecies gotta come to pass. Alright? The elect has to wake up, you know? And 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 that's why it's important uh to teach. That's why it's important. You know, the uh the go out to the highways and byways. Alright, cause you know, obviously hey, the elect still it has to be sealed. Alright? And you know, as the years go by in this truth, you know, uh it has that's more opportunity for you to grow. Alright, because you know, as we all, you know, waiting for all hell to break loose, hey maybe you know, the Lord is doing this for a, a particular uh, reason. All right. We might feel that we ready for when shit hit the fan. All right. But the Lord, you know, is, you know, he's uh, he's like, nah, man, you know, we, we still got, you know, some refining to do, you know. So, hey, this is more a uh, chance for us to grow. All right. And hey, you, you never know what can happen. All right. You know, the Lord says, no man knoweth the hour. So, hey, the shit can pop off at any at any given moment, you know? Because as we see the the C-hip, you know, uh, being pushed out, okay? Three, I believe there was three states in the, in the uh, United States, you know, that passed bills for employees uh, to be microchip. All right, one of those places, I believe, is Alabama, you know? But uh, as we, you know, hasten and come in the day of the Lord, man, this is more uh, time for us to grow, more time for us to get closer to your how about Shemal Shai, okay? So I want to go into this word patience here real quick. So this is patience. Strong's G, 5281. Hupamane. 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 And I'm going to get straight to the point that I wanted to bring out. It says in the New Testament, the characteristics of a man who is not swerved from his deliberate purpose. Right. They're not veered from their deliberate purpose. All right. And the scriptures speak about, you know, having that eye single. All right. A double minded man is unstable in all his ways. You know, so. Uh. Uh, keep going on it says and his loyalty to his faith you know so as we're waiting for the return of Yahweh Bashim al Shai you know our loyalty is being put to the test alright you know cause you got men who fell out in the year 2000 alright cause you know the apostles and elders alright the bishops always go into that uh, story I mean the, that's that time all right, when the prophecy of 2000, a lot of men fell out because they uh, because they thought 2000 was the year that Yahweh Shah was going to return, you know, and we see that now. OK, my short time being in the truth, you know, I've seen uh, men fall out of the truth. Why? Because they had lost that patience. OK, they loyalty wasn't towards this truth you know and going back to the title you know you got to hold on you got to be here for the long haul okay because even if you know lord willing 
you know, we don't got to wait another two and a half years. But, hey, if the Lord don't come into another two and a half, three years, you know, or five years. You know, we got to stay committed to this truth. OK, because one of these days we know for a fact that Yahweh is going to send his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, back on the earth. OK, and what the Lord says, occupy till I come. All right, when Yahweh Shai returns, we want him to say, uh, good job, my faithful servant. Let me get that. Uh, yep, so this is Matthew 25 and verse 21. His Lord said unto him, well done, thou good and faithful servant. And that's what we want to hear from Yahweh Shai. All right, we don't want to. Uh, be destroyed when your house shot returns. All right, because the Lord said, if you're not with me, you against me. You know, and all of, all of those people who fell out fell out of the truth, they against you. How about Shema All right, and it says, thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. All right, so we got to be faithful. Over a few things, okay? Really, it's really it's a this is a major thing that we involved in. All right, the most uh highest position on the on on planet Earth. All right, of course, underneath you, how about Shemal Shah? Okay, but as far as like a, a job, a occupation, you know, it just surpasses anything that we can even imagine. Okay, but we gotta be faithful over these things that the Lord has uh, 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 given us, man. All right. Brothers have uh, ranks in the camp. OK. And and a hey, brother's got uh, uh, subscribers. All right. You know, you never know who's watching your lessons, who's waiting, who's waiting for you to upload your lesson. All right. Didn't you? How should I tell uh, uh, Peter? If you love me, feed my sheep. So we the sheep is. Uh, looking to be fed okay so we can't uh handle you know the, the portion that yahweh bashim al shah gave to us how can we expect to be a ruler all right to be a, a a king a judge okay so that was just a quick scripture that i wanted to get so i'm gonna continue on and read this and here in the blue blue letter it says in his loyalty to his faith and piety by even the greatest trials and sufferings Right, man, this truth is about suffering, okay? Just as Yahweh Shai did. You know, Yahweh Shai went through that suffering. You know, and the scriptures tell us it's, it's a servant is not greater than his Lord. See, so we got to continue to suffer, man. Arm uh, uh, our minds, arm our minds to, to, to suffer, man, okay? Hey, but this suffering is, is going to pay off, you know? This is 1 Peter 4 and verse 12. Beloved, thinking not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you, right? Because what does the book of Sirach, also known as Ecclesiasticus and the Apocrypha say? Let's get it. Sirach 2 and 1. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Right, and we got to be prepared to go through shit. Okay, brothers taking L's in this flesh. Okay, but it's it's a loss on this side, but really it's it's, it's a gain, all right? Because did not the book of Matthew nineteen and twenty eight says uh, the Lord shall give us a hundredfold. So really, what we doing is investing. Okay, we investing into uh, uh, immortality. All right, so in order to invest, like you have a business and you invest in what? You take losses, okay? But after a while, you start reaping those benefits. And that's the same way with, with us brothers, man. And uh, you few sisters who are taking this uh, thing serious, okay? Because in the time of famine, when all hell break loose, guess what? These men, they ain't going to have the hedge of the, of the Lord. Women, they not going to have the hedge uh, of, of their of their man because that's the rank all right it tells you that in uh first corinthians 11 chapter the order is yahweh who the world calls god then his only begotten son yahweh shah 
and then the man and then the women. Okay, so you're women that's uh, taking this truth serious and they and they doing right by their husbands. Hey, they gonna have that reward too. My says my servant shall eat, my servant shall rejoice. Okay, but this is a part of that suffering. All right, you know, and hey, anytime we suffer, you know, they think about Yahweh Shai, man. Think about what he had to go through, what he went through on that cross. And the scripture say he got beat more, more than any man. So let's go back to 1 Peter 4 and 12. Beloved, thinking not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you, right, man? The scripture says, you know, we got to be proven. Let's get that. Syrac 6. Syrac, also known as Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha, is verse 6 and 7. If thou wouldest get a friend, prove him first and be not hasty to credit him. Right, so just like scripture says, you, you don't let no man into thy house. And that's the same way when it comes with Yahweh Shai. All right, because hey, the Lord uh, calls us friends. I believe that's in the book of John, uh, either John 15 or, or the 17th chapter. All right, the Lord says, I call you not servants, but friends. Okay, so in order to be a friend of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, we have to be proven. We got to go through trials to see if we're going to continue to to have faith to continue to endure so finishing off uh, with first peters 4 and 13 but rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of a mashiach suffering right man you know because a, a lot of a lot of a lot of men can't say that that they partaken in a mashiach suffering you know these people they don't even know the lord they don't even know uh, what's their duty? All right, Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. The whole duty of man is to fear the Lord and keep his law, statutes, and commandments. A lot of people don't even know the quote unquote milk. All right, but we partake in of Yahweh Shah's suffering. Okay, <laughs> you know, and we continue to partake in this suffering. All right, we're gonna come out on the other side as that pure gold. All right, that, that uh, silver that's been refined. You see, because the rest of this world, the rest of these people, the rest of our people, because that's who the Lord uh, truly loves. He only loves the Israelites. Okay, but those of our people who were who rebelled, all right, who fell out of the truth, who just wanted to be something in this world, right, had attachment to this world, guess what? They're going to go through the literal fire. And that's way worse than going through this fire that we're going through now. Okay? Hey, because one thing for sure, Yahweh Shah is going to return. That's what we know for a fact. Do we know the day, the hour? Do we know the year that the Lord is going to return? No, the scripture says no man know of the day, the hour. You know, but one thing you know for sure, Yahweh is going to send his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah, to, to redeem us. Okay, and this place is going to be destroyed by way of thermonuclear missiles. That we know for sure. All right, the scripture says that sure word of prophecy right it says that when his glory shall be revealed ye may be glad also with the seeding joy right because hey the rest of these people that's uh fell out of the truth and was never uh um walking the straight gate guess what they're gonna be weeping gnashing of the teeth all right they, they gonna be burned in nuclear fire hey but us that's of the household of faith the hopeful elect you know, we, that's going to be the best day that we ever had. Okay? Because we ain't, we ain't living. You know, we're going to live once once, once we with our Lord and Savior, man. Our big brother. All right? And ultimately, when we change from these defiled, wicked-ass bodies. All right? But everybody else, man, is going to be going to be ashamed. You know? But we're going we gonna to be rejoicing through the spirit and power of your How about Shemal Shai? You know? So I just want to get a few more. I'm going to go to the book of Syrac, also known as Ecclesiasticus, again, in the Apocrypha. And it reads, verse Syrac 2 and 13, Woe unto him that is faint-hearted, for he believeth not, therefore shall he not be defended. Right, faint-hearted means what? You, you, you doubt, all right? You got weak. You know, you folded. He, he, he believeth not. 
Okay, because if you truly believe, you wouldn't take your hand off the plow. All right, Lord willing, I pull that out. It says, therefore shall he not be defended, right? Those who put their hand to the plow and fell out of the truth, okay, they're not going to be defended in the times of trouble. All right, when there's the famine of the food, when all hell's breaking loose in these streets, those who walked out of, walked away from Yahweh by Shemal Shah is not going to be defended. Okay, verse 14, woe unto him that is, that have lost patience, what will ye do when the Lord shall visit you? Woe, what does that mean? Woe means destruction. All right, but Job, what the book of Job said, the fifth chapter says, at famine and death, all right, uh, thou shalt laugh. All right, because the servants going to be rejoicing. The servants are going to be giving all praises to Yahweh by Shemal Shai. All right, drinking and eating, marrying, having abundance. All right, Isaiah 4 and 1, this is uh, the benefits of, of uh continuing until the end okay matthew verse 24 and verse in verse 10 and it reads and then shall many be offended and shall but uh slacking uh matthew 24 and verse 13 got the wrong precept but it reads but he that shall endure until the end the same shall be saved. And hey, that's a promise from Yahweh by Shemal Shai. Those who endure, right? Endure the hour of temptation, okay? Who don't take that MOTB, right? Some of us going to get casted into prison. You now, you hear fucking Donald Trump talking about, you know, he want to bring the guillotines back, okay? But that's, that's going to be a trial of our faith, okay? And I want to get this word here, uh, endure, Strong's G, 5278. Hupamano. Hupamano. It says remain to tarry, to tarry behind. What does tarry mean? To, uh, to, to, to be patient. Okay, just let me go into this word real quick. Be sure. Right, linger. Okay. So basically, uh, linger, you know, basically to, to wait. And it says to preserve under misfortune, misfortunes and trials to hold fast one's faith in the Mashiach, to endure, to bear bravely, you know, and bear, uh, bear bravely, man. That's, hey, that's, that's heavy right there. Bear bravely. All right. Cause a coward is going to quit. A coward is going, you know what, hey, you know, this is too hard. Or well, I've been. I've been waiting too long. You know, I'm, I'm going to go back into the world, man. It's, it's nothing in this world, man. You're not returning back to nothing but vomit. All right, filth. Okay, and the scriptures uh, speak about a man returning back to that vomit. All right, because this world is fucking played out, man. Christianity is played out. All right, the, this music is played out. Okay, everything about this place is done. Okay, the morals, the women... Right? Our women fucking bugged out. The dudes is fucking sodomites. Right? And let me get that hand to the plow. You know, this is a this is a uh, scripture that Apostle Tahar, you know, uh brings out a lot. Bear with me as I pull this up. All right, Luke. Luke 9 and 62. And it reads, And Yahweh Shah said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow, right? Put your hand to the plow. It's speaking about uh, this truth. Okay, you started teaching, going out to the highways and byways, right? Because this truth is uh, referred to as a as a job, all right. It's an occupation. It's a duty. Okay, this is a uh, the Lord. Then how much I said, you know, I'll be about my father's business, right? It says, and looking back, it's fit for the kingdom of the Most High, right, man? You know, because a quitter gonna be destroyed, man. You know, even in your sports world, some if you you have a teammate, 
y'all down and he just quit. All right, or even y'all going through the regular season and somebody quit. No, that man who quit it on his team is never respected. So how much more when it comes to the work of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai? All right, you working with somebody at your job, and yeah, it's a two man job, and he be like, you know what, hey man, this shit too hard. I'm I'm done, and he walk away. You know that's the same way that Yahweh Bashim Al Shai look at this man, and this is way more important than your nine to five job. All right, we talk about the highest uh, office. Okay, we talking about we working for the king of the universe. All right, Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Okay, this is this is nothing to play with. Okay, let's get uh, a few more. I'm gonna go to the book of uh, Second Timothy. Second Timothy four. In verse six, and it reads, "For I am now ready to be offered." And the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight. Hey, man, this script says, fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold onto eternal life. Well, this is a fight, right? Going back to that uh, working reference or, uh, or, or sports, all right? You're watching a, 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 a UFC fight. All right, you got one dude kicking the other dude ass. And the dude that get his ass cooked, uh, throw in the towel or or he just quit. All right. Imagine that. Right. Imagine one of your football teammates, you know, just quit on you. Right. That, that, that's a coward. Right. That, that's not a good fight. A good fight is you, 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 you continue to 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 get. To get you to keep slocking, continue to push. All right, getting a little excited, but continue to push, continue to fight. Okay, and that's how we gotta be, man. Even when we weak, all right, we, we get uh, weak in this flesh, man. Okay, that's 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 when you pray. All right, if you gotta fast, that's when you fast. All right, and, and we all catching hell. That's 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 no excuse at the end of the day. All right, Yahweh Shah, when he returns, he ain't listening to no excuses. It says, I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. All right, man. And we got to continue to finish our course, continue to fight. Okay, and the scripture says, the things that was written aforetime were written for our learning. I'm going to finish off with first, verse 8. Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall get me at that day. Right, it speaks about that in Second Ezra, the second chapter, that crowning ceremony. You know, and yeah, that's 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 gonna be like a not definitely can't equate it to that. But the example is like you you in high school, right? What everybody talk about when they in high school, man, I can't wait to get my cap and gown. Or you at college, right? That's what people uh, stay up long hours to do. Okay. That's why they don't quit. No matter how hard school get or how many, how much uh, homework assignments that 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 your teacher hands out. One thing in their mind is, man, I, I want that cap and ground. I want to get my diploma. All right, and that's how it is. Uh, it should be with this truth. It don't matter how much hell I'm catching in this flesh. No matter how much hell I catch in my job or, or or with your woman or whatever the case might be, financial situations, all right? Because brothers had opportunity to be balling in this world, okay? But brothers forsook those things. And one of your, one of your thorns in the flesh could be women or, or um, money, money situations, okay? But that's why the Lord set up uh, brothers, man. Okay, charity. It says, "The righteous judge shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but all, but unto all them, also that love his appearing." Hey, Amen. That's gonna be a beautiful, beautiful day when Yahweh Shah returns. Beautiful for the elect, all right. But the greatest and most terrible is day, all right, for the rest of this world. And I'm gonna get one more scripture. 
wrap it up this is ecclesiastes 9 and verse 1 i returned and saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift right and this truth can be compared to as a race okay a, a, a marathon right the script says run that you may obtain okay so this truth you can compare it to as a marathon so this when you run a marathon if you just run in 100 percent speed during that marathon what happens you you get tired and eventually you know you just fall out and that's how it is with this truth so that's why you gotta run all right with uh with patience man okay it says not the battle to the to the strong all right because a mighty man is not gonna be delivered by much strength okay and this is this is a uh a spiritual fight so the biggest and baddest tough dudes all right you got niggas like uh aaron donald all right mike tyson floyd mayweather as strong as those men are really they're they they're weak all right weak mentally this is a uh definitely uh, uh you got to deal with the mental aspect is probably the most hardest part of this truth all right battling these uh wicked thoughts script says we battling spiritual wickedness in high places you know and we make ourselves a target okay us brothers that uh are serving you how about shamal shy and i want to get a quick precept backing that up you know because somebody be like hey what you mean by that you know we are the, uh, a, a big target especially for the spiritual demon satan okay because what's his whole objective to get us to fall out all right fall off right so this is isaiah 59 and 15 yea truth faileth and he that departeth from evil right depart from this world maketh himself a prey all right so we uh, compare it to as a prey you think about a lion stalking his prey right what is he what is that lion looking to do that lion is looking to devour you right he's looking to eat okay since i got that scripture uh let me get that in the uh i know that's in the new testament let me look it up yep first peter's five and eight be sober be vigilant because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion who's the devil esau edom right he's the spiritual uh he's a physical counterpart for the spiritual demon satan it says as a roaring lion right he's as a, a lion man a lion is a is a vicious uh predator man all right the most feared animal in the animal kingdom right it says walketh about seeking whom he may devour right man and it will pray out here man all right and this is this is the condition of the battle so you know your biggest strongest dudes okay that that strength doesn't matter all right it's, it's if you have the mental strength it says neither yet bread to the wise nor yet riches to men of understanding nor yet favor to the men of skill but time and chance happening to them all so hey so that point is this race is not to the swift so with that i'm gonna wrap it up i'm gonna give all praises honor and glory to yahweh bahasham yahweh shai bahasham akakwadash double honors to my apostles and elders of great millstone peace and blessings unto the hopeful elect the hundred and forty four thousand men that are laboring and toiling in this work for the sake of yahweh bahasham yahweh I also want to say Shalom to the innumerable multitude, which consists of the men, women, and children that Yahweh Bashem al Shai will show mercy upon. And the Wadi Yahweh Bashem al Shai for giving me the spirit of truth. The Wadi Yahweh Bashem al Shai for giving me the Holy Spirit. The Rakhak Wadash to make this lesson. Lord willing, until the next lesson, I'm going to say Shalom and a Baba Ball. DTA.